Deep beneath the surface of Geneva, something truly extraordinary, yet potentially dangerous, sits, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. This colossal machine is a marvel of modern science, capable of peering into the tiniest parts of the universe. It has already helped scientists make groundbreaking discoveries, like the Higgs boson. Often referred to as the God particle, the Higgs boson was a significant find, filling in gaps in our understanding of how the universe operates. But as exciting as this achievement is, there. 34 seconds. Our concerns about what we might be unlocking in the pursuit of knowledge. As physicist Brian Cox once suggested, something hidden has been found at CERN, and it has sparked both curiosity and fear. Could we be venturing down a dangerous road, probing realms we don't fully understand? Before we delve into these worries, let's first look at what the LHC is and how it works. CERN runs the LHC, a massive 17-mile ring of magnets that forms the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in existence. One minute and six seconds. Scale and capabilities are awe-inspiring, allowing scientists to recreate energy conditions similar to those present when the universe began. By smashing protons together at incredibly high speeds, the LHC mimics the conditions of the Big Bang, enabling researchers to probe the fundamental building blocks of the cosmos. With temperatures soaring millions of times hotter than the sun, and cooling systems keeping things colder than space, the LHC achieves feats that once seemed impossible. The LHC's intricate setup is 1 minute and 37 seconds. A testament to human ingenuity. Inside, there are over 1,200 magnets guiding the protons, and another 392 focusing magnets directing them to their collision points. To hit particles with the precision needed, think of trying to collide two needles six miles apart, requires an astonishing level of accuracy and technology. The accelerator is buried underground, shielding the world from harmful radiation and kept at a chilling temperature of minus 460 degrees Fahrenheit. As the particles crash into each other, detectors like ATLAS, CMS. 2 minutes and 13 seconds. ALICE and LHCB record the data, capturing crucial insights into the nature of matter and the universe itself. The Higgs boson, for instance, could help us understand how mass is distributed across the universe, offering a glimpse into the very structure of everything around us. However, while the LHC is an incredible tool for unraveling the mysteries of the universe, its immense power raises some unsettling questions. As we peer deeper into the unknown, we must ask, are we prepared for what we might find? Could. 2 minutes and 46 seconds. We be inadvertently unlocking forces we don't fully comprehend? Some have raised the concern that in our attempts to mimic the Big Bang, we might be opening a Pandora's box of unforeseen consequences. Recent comments by Brian Cox have intensified these worries. He explained that by recreating the extreme conditions of the early universe, the LHC could lead to unexpected, even dangerous, results. The collider, after all, doesn't just explore the Higgs boson and other known particles, it also delves into dark matter, which accounts. 3 minutes and 20 seconds. For a large portion of the universe's unseen mass. But dark matter, as the name suggests, remains elusive. Its properties and composition are still a mystery. The LHC could be our best chance at unraveling its secrets, but this could also bring unforeseen risks. The collider's extreme conditions, akin to those that existed at the very birth of the universe, come with dangers that must not be ignored. Scientists have even speculated that the collider could inadvertently create tiny black holes, fears fueled by the potential of quantum. 3 minutes and 54 seconds. Physics to warp space and time. This concept has attracted the attention of prominent scientists like Stephen Hawking, who warned that high-energy experiments at the LHC could lead to vacuum decay, a catastrophic event that could unravel space and time itself, with consequences potentially as dire as the destruction of Earth. Sir Martin Rees, a leading cosmologist, echoed these concerns, suggesting that such instability in the vacuum could have disastrous effects. CERN, of course, insists that any black holes created by 4 minutes and 25 seconds the LHC would be short-lived and harmless. Still, the notion that we might accidentally create something as dangerous as a black hole, even a minuscule one, has made the scientific community more cautious. Despite these warnings, it's essential to acknowledge that the risks, while real, are incredibly low. CERN has established safety protocols to mitigate these dangers. However, 
no amount of preparation can completely eliminate the inherent uncertainty of pushing the boundaries of scientific exploration. As 4 minutes and 55 seconds, we delve deeper into the fabric of reality, we must weigh the potential risks against the knowledge we hope to gain. The LHC is a tool of immense power, one that is as much about the human drive for discovery as it is about scientific progress. It demonstrates our relentless desire to understand the cosmos, but it also highlights the responsibility that comes with such power. Beyond the existential risks, the LHC's effects reach into various realms of knowledge and technology. With over 10,000 scientists, engineers, and 5 minutes and 28 seconds, technicians working on this colossal project, the collaboration spans the globe. The data generated by the LHC is so vast that it has revolutionized computing, requiring new methods of data storage and analysis. But the implications of the LHC go far beyond particle physics. The research conducted at CERN has far-reaching effects on fields such as medicine, material science, and environmental studies. For example, understanding the Higgs boson better could lead to the development of entirely new materials or technologies. Six minutes and one second. Similarly, the LHC's work on dark matter may one day uncover hidden aspects of the universe, fundamentally changing our understanding of space, time, and physics itself. At the same time, the LHC's work with concepts like supersymmetry and extra dimensions could radically reshape our comprehension of the fundamental forces of nature. Supersymmetry, a theory that links two types of particles, bosons and fermions, predicts the existence of superpartners that have yet to be discovered. Should the LHC find evidence? 6 minutes and 35 seconds. Of these particles, it could offer a new framework for understanding the universe. The LHC's research also has profound implications for the future of computing, especially in the realm of quantum computing. By revealing how particles interact at a quantum level, the LHC is paving the way for technologies that could one day revolutionize how we process information. Yet, as we stand on the brink of these monumental discoveries, we must also confront the ethical questions that arise. While the pursuit 7 minutes and 6 seconds of knowledge is thrilling, it comes with the responsibility to ensure that this newfound understanding is used wisely. The potential applications of LHC research are vast, but so are the risks. From developing advanced weapons to creating technologies we cannot control, the possibilities are both exhilarating and terrifying. This raises an important ethical dilemma. How do we ensure that these discoveries are used for the benefit of humanity and not to cause harm? Global cooperation and transparency are key to addressing this. 7 minutes and 39 seconds. Challenge, ensuring that the knowledge gained through the LHC is shared and utilized responsibly. The LHC also raises significant concerns about the environmental impact of such powerful technology. With its enormous energy requirements, the LHC places a considerable strain on resources and ecosystems. While CERN has made efforts to reduce its carbon footprint, by relying on renewable energy and improving efficiency, the environmental consequences of such large-scale scientific endeavors cannot be ignored. 8 minutes and 10 seconds. This underscores the need for sustainable practices in science, particularly as we continue to explore the frontiers of knowledge. As the LHC continues to unravel the mysteries of the universe, it serves as a reminder of both the power and potential dangers that come with humanity's drive for knowledge. It's not just about the breakthroughs in physics or understanding dark matter, it's about exploring the very building blocks of existence and what happens when we try to manipulate them. With each 8 minutes and 39 seconds experiment, each collision, scientists push the limits of our understanding. Yet, we must also be mindful of the profound responsibilities that come with wielding such power. The LHC is a testament to human curiosity, a desire to answer questions that have perplexed us for millennia. But the pursuit of answers in this realm of extreme conditions and unknowns forces us to consider not only the scientific implications, but also the moral and ethical ones. What if, in our quest for knowledge, we uncover things we are not? 9 minutes and 10 seconds. Ready to handle. What if the answers to questions we've asked for centuries come with consequences that we can't predict? One of the most unsettling possibilities is the impact the LHC might have on our understanding of space and time. The idea of vacuum decay that has been discussed by some of the leading minds in physics isn't just an abstract concept, it's a real possibility, albeit a highly unlikely one. 
But if something went wrong and the vacuum state of the universe changed, it could lead to a 9 minutes and 40 seconds chain reaction that could destabilize everything we know. It's a chilling thought, yet it's one that has to be considered when dealing with such powerful experiments. The LHC could alter the fabric of the universe itself. And while CERN has safeguards in place, it's hard to predict what we might learn and what those discoveries might mean for the very fabric of reality. What makes this situation even more complex is the global nature of the LHC project. The machine itself is an international endeavor, with scientists, engineers, and 10 minutes and 12 seconds. Technicians from more than 100 countries working together to answer questions that could have massive implications. The LHC operates as a microcosm of global cooperation, but it also brings to light questions about accountability and transparency. The stakes are high, and the knowledge that comes from this machine isn't limited to one nation or group, it belongs to the entire world. How do we ensure that discoveries are shared responsibly and used for the collective good? How do we ensure that these powerful capabilities aren't 10 minutes and 42 seconds exploited or misused? Ethics once again plays a critical role in this conversation. The knowledge gained from the LHC could revolutionize numerous fields, from material science to medicine, from quantum computing to environmental solutions. But it also has the potential to be used in ways that we can't fully anticipate. Could the research eventually lead to the development of advanced weapons or technologies that could be used to harm rather than heal? Should the power to unlock the secrets of the universe be 11 minutes and 12 seconds, confined to only a select few, or should we share this knowledge with all of humanity, ensuring that its use remains ethical and responsible? Alongside these concerns, there's also the issue of the environmental cost of running such an enormous facility. The LHC's energy consumption is vast, and although CERN strives to mitigate its environmental impact through renewable energy initiatives and efficiency upgrades, questions remain about how sustainable such vast scientific projects can be in the long term. As global temperatures rise and resource scarcity becomes more pressing, every major endeavor, no matter how noble its intentions, must justify its ecological footprint. 12 minutes and 9 seconds. This presents a paradox. The LHC represents the pinnacle of human progress and scientific ambition, yet it also symbolizes the challenges of sustainability in a world increasingly aware of its ecological limits. Can we pursue the secrets of the universe while respecting the planet we live on? This question looms large, especially as future particle accelerators, even larger and more powerful than the LHC, are already being proposed. 12 minutes and 39 seconds. Amid these discussions, the human element must not be overlooked. Behind the vast machinery and theoretical physics are thousands of individuals driven by curiosity, hope, and a passion for discovery. Their work inspires new generations of scientists, engineers, and thinkers who will one day tackle problems far beyond today's imagination. 13 minutes and 5 seconds. Yet with great power comes the burden of foresight. The LHC is not just a tool, it is a symbol of what humanity can achieve when united in purpose, but it also serves as a reminder of the perils that accompany unbridled ambition. We must proceed with caution, humility, and a commitment to the broader good. 13 minutes and 30 seconds. As experiments continue and theories are tested, the LHC edges us closer to understanding phenomena that could redefine reality. Quantum gravity, string theory, the true nature of dark energy, even the possibility of multiverses. Each revelation is a step deeper into a cosmos more mysterious and intricate than we ever imagined. 13 minutes and 59 seconds. But perhaps the greatest challenge lies not in discovering what lies beyond the veil of the known universe, but in deciding what to do with that knowledge. Do we use it to elevate humanity, or do we repeat the mistakes of the past, where power was too often wielded without wisdom? 14 minutes and 25 seconds. The story of the Large Hadron Collider is still being written. Its legacy will not be defined solely by the particles it discovers or the theories it confirms, but by the choices we make in the wake of its revelations. In the end, the true collision may not be between protons, but between possibility and responsibility.